oh, knew he was gonna, gonna take. Jack King. That's why he's pulling good. He looks in pretty good shape. Uh, we don't need him. You didn't get a single Jack the other day. Remember how we caught a bunch last time we were up here? You and I. Raleigh and I did get one, and we did get one on Friday. But they're still here, and they're fun. Is that I mean, one of the biggest steelheads that I've is ever a seen? huge steelhead. This is going to take a little bit. Two huge jumps. Now he's going to take off again, another jump. Did you see it? <laughs> oh my it goodness. Up? I don't think he's quite ready to come. I don't think he's done yet either. That is a fabulous fish. I don't know if I'm going to be able to net. Go ahead. You got to, yeah, try to. Oh, if you're right here, you can see it right now. Here we go. It's going to jump. I oh, knew he was going to take. I, mean, I don't even care if it gets up. Oh, I know. What a show. Oh, come on, another jump. One more jump and we'll let you free. You know, I think... I haven't even seen if it's wild or not. I think it's a it's hatchery. Wild. It's a hatchery fish. Huge hatchery fish. So I'm going to... Oh, oh, it came right into the boat. Yeah, it, under the motor. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to have to get the net. No, oh, you missed. You're going to have to lift your rod. Reel it in a little bit more. Yeah. What a gorgeous hen. No, she's done. You need to get her in the net before the hook comes out. There's a shot. There's your shot. Good job. My goodness, look at that. That is a huge hatchery hen. Oh, Eileen, what a battle. <laughs> I, I don't know how many get times that, that jumped. Under it at the same time. Oh, gotta get the right angle on that. Yeah, see, it just came right out. Oh, my. <laughs> you know, I had a nice double here, and I don't know what we've got yet. This is quite pretty good. I haven't been able to see it yet. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Whoa! <laughs> Not a steelhead. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And you don't know what you've got. You're running the camera. It's just taking a line. That's fine. It's just staying down below us. It looks like a pretty good fish, too. It is pulling good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. OK, let's oh. get some power off here. we can slide down to these fish.
That'll make it a little easier. Wild fish. Nice. Woo! There he goes. Whoa! <laughs> Good job. Nice wild fish. Pretty. No matter where anglers are heading, whether it's Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, or Rufus Woods Reservoir, they all make the same stop. That's at Big Wally's in Cooley City. Here they find everything they need for a successful day on the water. Fuel, ice, a tackle shop, and people who know what they're selling behind the counter. State and tribal licenses, even a hot breakfast or lunch. When you're on the go, don't forget to stop at Big Wally's and visit their website at BigWallysFishing.com. When the weather starts to cool, it's the signal for hot fishing for steelhead. If you're not ready for this exciting season, better get to Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee. They have everything a steelheader need, from rods and reels to jigs and bait. There is no better selection of all this gear than what you'll find on the shelves at Hooked on Toys. Get geared up. Get to Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, and be sure to visit them online at hookedontoys.com. Honey, you are not going to believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to fall. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Steelhead double. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's wild. Yeah. Oh. Double. Wild steelhead. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Did you release yours? No, I haven't been able to yet. Might be able to now. How big is yours? Ah. Well, I guess it will change that. It's gone. Oh. your rod in the way. Oh, it's not quite as big as I thought it was. No, nope. but I still have. Woohoo! Doubles! <laughs> Look at that. That's been your hot one. That little pink maxi jig. It's doing it today. pounded that shoreline pretty hard so we're gonna go out and explore a little bit drift some bobbers through some spots we typically don't fish okay as you can see we're using the bobber and jig technique here on the upper Columbia for steelhead and 
cast into one of my favorite banks, as you notice. I just cast out, and then what I immediately do is mend my line. I want to keep my line above the bobber, so it drifts down, and then I pick up the slack, put that line up. You want to keep as much slack out of your line as possible, so that when that bobber goes down, you've got a nice straight line to that bobber, and you can set the hook with just a flick of your wrist. If you allow your line to form a belly downstream, you're going to have a hard time hooking these fish. They'll oftentimes grab it, spit it out, and you've got to be right on them in order to get a hook set. I'm watching that bobber now, and I see it bouncing a little bit. I'm just barely scraping bottom, so I just pulled it out a little bit. re my line. That's one of the reasons we use very long rods. These are 10 foot, 9 inch rods. It makes it very easy to flip that line upstream, keep a nice straight line to that bobber. I'm using our bow mount not only to keep us the correct distance from the shore. I want, don't want to be on top of the fish, but then also to pace my drift so that there isn't wild swings of the bobber flying by us or the boat uh, going downstream ahead of the bobbers, but it's pretty good pace. And oftentimes you can actually match the current and the pace of your drift with the speed of the motor and that really helps extend your drift. Oh boy, that barber went down. Could have been bottom, but you don't know, so it's always good. Set that hook when that bobber goes down. This is Dave Grayville, the fishing magician, and when I fish the Upper Columbia and the Mad Howe Rivers for steelhead, I stay at the Lake Pateras Inn. I can tie my boat right up out front and be minutes from the action. The famous Miller Hole on the Mad Howe is less than two miles away. The rooms are comfortable and surprisingly affordable, and I'll be making the Lake Pateras Inn my base camp. To learn how to book your room at the Lake Pateras Inn, log on to lakepaterasmotorinn.com or call 866-444-1985. The goal of battery systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Grayville, and I choose battery systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a battery systems product expert in a location near you, log on to batterysystems.net. Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built for Tough Truck event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built for tough. Like the Ford F-150 with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in East Wenatchee. One of the things that's going to happen while you're steelheading here in this stretch of the Columbia River is you're going to run into some triploid rainbow, which are in the water here. And some of them are quite large and fun to catch. This is actually on the small side for a triploid. And they must be released. Boy, it turned out to be just a classic fall day up here bright sunshine. We started with pretty heavy overcast and it burned off and it's just a gorgeous day here on the Upper Columbia. Almost too nice for steelhead. Okay, we're going to 
swing into this little back eddy. Make a couple of casts. You know, it's important when you approach an area that you're going to fish that you don't go in too close immediately. You don't want to crowd the fish. Water conditions are pretty clear, so you want to stay off a ways, and then work your way in with successive drifts so that you don't chase the fish off of the area that they're holding. It jumped on the other side of the boat. Holy cow! That thing took off. And there was nothing I could do. Look at that. What do we got here? I think that's a keeper steelhead. He took off. Yes, it is. That is a hatchery fish. That was what? <laughs> what a scramble. Tilt the big motor! <laughs> okay. First drift. I'm glad we came up here, huh? He's not all that big, but man, did he take off. hit twice. Yes sir, that's a clipped fish. Yahoo! Whoop. Little buck. No matter where anglers are heading, whether it's Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, or Rufus Woods Reservoir, they all make the same stop. That's at Big Wally's in Cooley City. Here they find everything they need for a successful day on the water. Fuel, ice, a tackle shop, and people who know what they're selling behind the counter. State and tribal licenses, even a hot breakfast or lunch. When you're on the go, don't forget to stop at Big Wally's and visit their website at BigWallysFishing.com. When the weather starts to cool, it's the signal for hot fishing for steelhead. If you're not ready for this exciting season, better get to Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee. They have everything a steelheader need, from rods and reels to jigs and bait. There is no better selection of all this gear than what you'll find on the shelves at Hooked on Toys. Get geared up. Get to Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, and be sure to visit them online at HookedOnToys.com. Hi! You are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. 
Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get a camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to fly. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. This is Dave Grayville, the fish and magician, and when I fish the Upper Columbia and the Mad Howe Rivers for steelhead, I stay at the Lake Pateras Inn. I can tie my boat right up out front and be minutes from the action. The famous Miller Hole on the Mad Howe is less than two miles away. The rooms are comfortable and surprisingly affordable, and I'll be making the Lake Pateras Inn my base camp. To learn how to book your room at the Lake Pateras Inn, log on to lakepaterasmotorinn.com or call 866-444-1985. The goal of Battery Systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Grable, and I choose Battery Systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a Battery Systems product expert in a location near you, log on to BatterySystems.net. Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built Ford Tough Truck Event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built Ford Tough. Like the Ford F-150 with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in East Wenatchee. Under the bridge. Making sure I don't put us on the rock. A little nicer fish. Can't tell what flavor. Goes. <laughs> Couldn't tell if it was a hatchery or not, so. But that was fun! <laughs> well, let's go back up and do that again. Shirt sleep steelhead fishing at Bridgeport. It just doesn't get any better than that. I can't believe it's after 4 o'clock. We just hit two nice fish up there at the bridge. Missed a hit, back trolling down here. But we're gonna call it a day. We had some great fish. Got a couple of nice hatchery fish in the box. What a fabulous fall day of steelhead fishing. I love coming out here with my wife Eileen. She has a ball and caught the biggest fish she's ever had. Nice day.